From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA Late as big stimulus checks are now available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to fly for a brand new LA Late newsletter or stimulus. That newsletter is now available 24 hours a day, seven days a week for stimulus checks at news.lla.com forward slash newsletter. These are stimulus checks you can apply for all day, every day, and as soon as you become a member. And this incredible newsletter was my Christmas gift to you this big, big Christmas holiday. And these are stimulus checks right now. Stimulus checks for SSI. Stimulus checks for SSDI. Stimulus checks for SSA. Stimulus checks for VA, RB. Stimulus checks for low income. They were passed in the month of March, and viewers have been getting them since the month of March. And now as they approach March 2023, they've been getting them for one year. How many months of stimulus checks are they getting? 18 months of stimulus checks, and they're saving them up. I'll explain to you the importance of saving up stimulus in today's recording. They're getting about $3,000 a month, five checks per month. We'll go over the latest details on this fast stimulus that pays in about 48 hours. 18 months of stimulus checks, again, for SSI, SSDI. Become a member right now. Get that incredible newsletter right now. Apply for stimulus checks right now. This is for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Wearable Benefits. We have major news we're dealing with today, and the major news is where this market is going for the start of 2023. We'll be looking at the labor predictions from me to you. Labor on job creation, labor on labor predictions on unemployment numbers, then over to housing. And then what's going to happen with that industry next over to debt levels for the American consumers with those credit card debts. And what about the savings levels as well? Then over to the bond market, the stock market, the crypto market, and then finally to the manufacturing index and the fourth quarter earnings that are going to come in in just 30 days from now, plus four guidance as well. It's a big show. And while the markets are closed today for December 26, I got massive stimulus for you and massive news. That's how we do it here on Afternoons. Happy holidays, and the continuing coverage of all this and more starts right here, right now, on a supersized edition of Afternoons L8 for December 26, 2022. And good afternoon, everybody. Those beautiful thoughts of the shores here of Southern California is where the temperatures have been heating up. But my thoughts and prayers are with the people of the Midwest and the Southeast, where the temperatures are killing people right today. It's a horrible holiday season with record colds and in case of Buffalo residents, many feet of snow on the ground across the board. Send your prayers and thoughts with those incredible people in those very cold climates right tonight. And this afternoon, big stimulus checks available right now, SSI, stimulus checks, SSDI, VARB, stimulus checks for low income, stimulus checks right now. They became law in the month of March, and viewers now on this channel are approaching 12 months of getting monthly stimulus checks. And that is why you want to become part of this family, because what are they getting? They're getting on average 18 months of incredible stimulus checks, $3,000 a month, five checks per month. And they're continuing across the board. But if you just found this channel today, welcome. You are still in time because you can get these incredible stimulus checks. They became law in the month of March. And I'm going to show you how to get these incredible stimulus checks in this recording. But the big Christmas gift delivered from me to the membership of this channel was a brand new second location for that big newsletter. That second location was debuted on December 23rd. And here it is, news.la.com forward slash newsletter. The newsletter was always delivered for me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alerts. But for Christmas this year, 2022, I delivered a big Christmas gift. The newsletter at a second location that is open around the clock never closes. It's the website on the screen right there, news.com 
lla.com forward slash newsletter. That website's in the description of this video. That website's in the pinned comment. You go right into that website and apply for stimulus checks right now as a member. The membership password is sent from me to you to access that page with the most recent post on any of the three broadcasting channels, LA1, LA2, or LA3. Now you can apply for stimulus checks around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Viewers did it on Christmas Day. Viewers did it on Christmas Eve. And moreover, you can become a member right this second and then apply for stimulus checks right this second. You don't have to wait till later this day. You don't have to wait till the you don't have to wait till weekdays. You have to wait till stores are open. You don't have to wait till lobster shorts become a fashion statement. <laughs> you can do it right now. That is the huge story that we're starting today. But let's first go into the incredible stimulus checks. These stimulus checks are now approaching nearly one year on the channel. They became law in the month of March and have been law since the month of March. And viewers like Lynn Glenn explained to us how she's done it. She got these stimulus checks starting in the month of March, and she keeps on getting additional stimulus checks. So what is she holding? She's holding lots of saved up cash because no longer does she have to pay for these incredible bills every month. She's getting cash paid for those bills, and so she's saving up cash. It's stimulus for SSI, stimulus checks for SSDI, stimulus checks for SSA, VARB, stimulus checks for low income. This became law in March, and it's absolutely incredible. Let's look and see what happened. At the time, Joseph Biden passed a series of executive actions in March 2022, and those established the first three stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, low income. Stimulus checks A, stimulus check B, stimulus check C, $100 thousand dollars of incredible stimulus checks and how do you get them you go to this video become a member go right into the newsletter right as this video is playing and apply for those incredible stimulus checks one at a time you qualify if you make seventy five thousand less a single individual you qualify if you're a married couple you make one hundred fifty thousand less you qualify these are from the federal government they're for americans all americans within those income levels it doesn't matter where you live it's from the federal government i want to go over all these incredible checks one at a time so you can get that financial freedom in today's recording but we weren't done there yet because congress came along and passed other stimulus checks for you also in march 2022 bringing us to then hundreds of checks and those incredible stimulus checks heat up this broadcast as well they are stimulus checks e through k and I'm going to go through each of the incredible stimulus checks one at a time in this recording. Then we're going to continue to stimulus checks L and M, N and O, P and Q. And originally, the newsletter was just Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Originally, that's how the newsletter was until December 23rd. For a Christmas gift for you, I rolled out a second location. A second location that answers all your wishes, all my wishes as well. And what is that second location? It is the incredible second location to get these stimulus checks 24 hours a day, seven days a week at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. So go right on this video, become a member, get that newsletter right now, and then go right in and start applying for incredible stimulus checks right this minute. You don't have to wait. Remember, as soon as you become a member, you can go right into the newsletter. You grab the password from the most recent post, Four members on channel one, channel two, and channel three. The same password for all three channels works on that newsletter. The password is changed once a day approximately. And as soon as it's changed, you'll see that it's a brand new password and it's in the most recent post for members on all three channels. Let's go into those first three checks right now without even waiting a minute. Let's go over those first three checks right now, and they're huge. And they were passed by Joseph Biden in the month of March. And they're stimulus checks A, B, and C. What is A? What is B? What is C? What does it look like? Let's get some incredible stimulus checks right now, starting right this beautiful afternoon. Stimulus check A, B, and C are huge sums of money, and these help you get those 18 months of checks. Let's look at A. $6,500 is $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. How do you do it? You become a member. Go right on this video. Join channel. Join this channel. Join LA1. Join LA2. Or join LA3. 
Then go right into that membership newsletter, the brand new now, the brand new second location, now open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and apply for those incredible stimulus checks right now. You're not done there yet. Go into stimulus check B. Stimulus check B is the check that helps people get lots and lots of months of checks. Whether it's Frank Mancuso or Kimberly or all the other viewers who are getting these 18 months of stimulus checks, it's absolutely incredible. Because why? Stimulus check B helps people get big sums of money over lots of months, 18 months. And later in this recording, we're going to go over why it's important to get 18 months of stimulus checks. Not one month, not a $1,200 check here or a $400 check there, because we got a two-year recession starting on January 2023. So you do need 18 months of checks, which would cover you very nicely over a 24-month recession. $3,000 a month, five checks per month. Have you become a member? What are you doing? Don't wait right now. Become a member and get all those incredible stimulus checks right now. That is stimulus check B. We're not done there yet. We're going now to stimulus check C. Stimulus check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. It's been on the channel for a long time. You all have rent, or you have a mortgage, and you all have utilities. So get some incredible check Cs. Because once you don't have to pay for those bills every month, 18 months, you're saving up a lot of money in your wallet. So let's say, for example, your utilities and your rent, all six bills per month are $2,000. Well, suddenly you're saving up $2,000 this month, and then you're saving up $4,000 next month, and the month after that, you're saving up $6,000. The month after that, $8,000, then $10,000. Imagine you're doing this for 18 months. Imagine how much better your savings account's going to look. That's what Lynn Glenn's doing. So she got all these incredible sums of money, and she says, LA, I'm not spending what I'm getting. I'm keeping the cash in my wallet because no longer do I have to pay for rent. I don't have to pay for utilities, and I'm saving up that cash. And every month, I have more cash saved up and this gets huge, folks, in just a few months. Imagine it's 18 months and it's a recession. It really, really helps. So go around this video, become a member. We're not done there yet. You're going to go get Stimulus Check C, and there's Stimulus Check C lined up, ready to rock and roll. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Stimulus Check C has been on the show for a long time. Let's look at those incredible numbers. Do you win $30,000 for rent? You do. So become a member right now and go right into that brand new newsletter at second location. Open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Do you want utilities? You do. Of course you do. $15,000 of them? Yes, that's what Mark's brother-in-law did. Go around this video, become a member, and get those incredible utility bills paid for you so you don't have to take cash out of your wallet to pay for those bills. Combinations of checks. Nisa was at 23000 She went to 50000 Mark was at 32000 He went to fifty, then 100 then 166 And Lorraine, she was at 105 She went to 155 Count those other viewers are heating up even more money. It's 150,000, excuse me, 170,000 for Dragon. She's a triple member to all three channels. And we have big success stories left and right. Those are those big stimulus checks. So what do you do? Step one, you go around this video, you become a member. Step two, you watch this entire video because I got more stimulus checks coming up for you. That's just the first three checks. And then you go right into that brand new second home of the newsletter right now. That is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. The link to which is under the description of the video and in the pinned comments. Open the most recent post for members on any of the three channels you may be watching right now and grab the most recent password. It's updated once a day approximately. Grab the password and go right into the protected website and apply for those incredible stimulus checks. We'll be going all more over those incredible stimulus checks E through K in just a second. But let's heat, oh, let's jump over just for a second to unemployment stimulus. Unemployment stimulus is going to heat up in 2023. It's already heating up right now. More layoffs, more people needing unemployment stimulus checks. And let's go over the details of how this works. Unemployment stimulus checks are for people who are fired from their boss with a W-2 employee situation. If the boss walked up to you as a W-2 and says you're fired, go get some unemployment stimulus. So how do you do this? Two steps. Step one, file the claim. Step two, get the checks. Let's go over each of those two steps right now. It's coming back to the channel in the last week. It's huge amounts of money. It's, in some cases, it's tens of thousands of dollars. Step one, file the claim. Go to your state's Department of Unemployment, your state's Department of Unemployment, where you live, where you were fired. 
And it's going to ask you on step one, what date were you fired? Don't mess that up. So if the boss says to you, you're fired on October 1st, put in October 1st. Don't put in January or December because that's not the right date. And you're going to cost yourself thousands of dollars if you do it wrong. On step one, it's also going to ask you, do, are you willing to work? And are you able to work? You must say yes to both questions. Yes and yes. Willing means are you mentally. Able means are you physically. And then your claim is going to be approved. But you're not done there yet. Now you got to go to step two. Step two is going to ask you to certify for benefits. What does that mean? It's a fancy way of saying, do you want some checks for each of the weeks you've been unemployed? And the websites are great. They're going to start the, mo the first date that you became unemployed, that first week in this example of October 1st. And then you're going to answer a series of questions that says, you're done. You're done with first week one. We're sending you money for week one. Then it'll bring you all the way up to the present. Here's a couple of things to know for that step two. You can never be too late for applying for an unemployment. But you can be too early. The website will tell you, no, it's too early to ask for that week. It hasn't happened. Come back in a few days. Moreover, if you have power outage or your cell phone dies or your computer turns off, don't worry. It'll pick off where you left off. The next story we're watching, of course, for 2023 is the proposed potential legislation that would merge pieces of legislation from the Republicans and Democrats together for a Social Security reform legislation. This is unlike anything else in this recording, because everything else in this recording is law. Everything else in this recording is law. If you have gotten everything else in this recording, this is proposed legislation. Proposed, not law yet. And they propose to give you $200 monthly stimulus checks with a $2,000 one-time raise. Why? The reason why is because a lot of things are out of are out of date. And PBT is one of them. PBT is stimulus that's landing right this week for people that were impacted by COVID in 2021. I know it sounds sort of light, but it is sort of light. Well, what they're doing now with the seniors and people on benefits is proposing to fix your situation as well for what happened in 2021. Step one, they believe you are not paid enough for many, many years through especially the pandemic because of COLA, C-O-L-A, cost of living adjustment. So they want to get you caught up one time with a $2,000 one-time stimulus check, then give you $200 a month thereafter to keep you consistent. These are Republicans and Democratic bills they propose to merge in 2023 and pass. Then they want to remove the marriage penalty. Why should you be penalized to getting married? Currently you are with a very outdated law. They want to remove the income cap, a very outdated law, remove the eligibility age of Medicare, and also remove the asset cap. Hashtag Purple Power, hashtag SS200. Go on social media, advocate for this, share this video, and help get this passed in 2023. And there you go. That is proposed legislation for 2023. Here's your unemployment stimulus for 2022 right now and 2023. And PBT stimulus checks are coming back to this channel in just the next few days with more checks. The latest breaking news is that in Arizona, $391 PEBT stimulus checks are landing in Americans' households in Arizona today for what happened in 2021. But we're not done there yet because we're going back to more stimulus checks for members. Have you become a member? Go right on this video, join this channel, and get all these incredible stimulus checks, and then apply for these incredible stimulus checks in that new 24-hour day, seven days a week newsletter. Let's now pick up with where we left off with those unemployment, with those big stimulus checks at E through K. Remember, after the president did the first three stimulus checks, A, B, and C, then along came Congress, and they established other stimulus checks for the Purple Power family. Check E, a $7,500 stimulus check. Love it. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Great. Stimulus check G, 30% off. Stimulus check H, $2,000 stimulus check. Incredible. Then stimulus check I, a $8,000 stimulus check. Stimulus check A, a J, an $8,000 stimulus check. And stimulus check K, a $14,000 stimulus check. After then, after that, what did I do? I looked around and I found you other stimulus checks, and they are L and M. L is $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. M is a $4,000 stimulus check. N is a great one. Did you get it? 
Did you get that brand new Christmas gift for the Christmas holidays? Well, you can still get it right now for the new year. It's a brand new gift to start the new year. It is a brand new tablet, computer, a laptop gift for you with free internet. It's a stimulus check N. Become a member and go right down to N and get that tablet, computer, and laptop. Stimulus check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs. And stimulus check P, which is $100,000 and Q, $8,000 of closing costs. And there you go. Those are the wonderful stimulus checks A, B, and C from Joe Biden, E through K from the Congress, and then L to Q that I found for you as well. How do I get them? You become a member. Go right in this video and become a member. Welcome to those incredible viewers who are now members of nearly two years. It's absolutely incredible. Love you to death. People who are members have that beautiful purple hawk emoji behind their name in the live chat. So if you're in the live chat and you see people with a hawk behind their name, they're members. So you see people in the comments, they have a hawk behind their names, they're members. If you believe you're a member and you post a comment on the video, but there's no hawk behind your name, then make sure you're signed into your YouTube account to make sure that Hawk appears behind your name. Become a member right now. Grab that password for the most recent post on this channel for members one on channel one, channel two, and channel three, and go right in and get those credible stimulus checks. Share the videos. Tell people to come on over. This is where people are big, getting big sums of money. This is where the Purple Power family is a loving family that helps one another, and we need to help one another because it's a two-year recession starts in 30 days from now. In the big second half, we're going to go over more about what's going on with this two-year recession, but let's take it back a notch. Let's take it back a notch to spring of 2022. When I told the viewers of this channel, we're going into something that's called a recession, and I said that recession starts in January 2023, and I said it's for two years, and I said, Purple Hawks, get as much stimulus as you can from me, raise your savings, remove, remove your debt, I also told you there would be a stimulus stampede in January 2023. What did you say? You said as viewers, there's going to be a financial cliff in January 2023, where Americans who are not doing the right thing are literally going to fall off the edge of the cliff. Well, in the big second half, we're going to go over this incredible financial cliff and where are the warning signals of that financial cliff. We'll be looking at the labor market. We'll be looking at the housing market. We'll be looking at the economy. We'll be looking at... The all the elements of this economy for you and I to gauge how close we are to that financial cliff. It won't be a financial cliff for you, it'll be a financial cliff for other people. And what happens for them impacts all of us. The breaking news and more about this comes up in the big second half, but you know how you do with this. You get big stimulus right now. You get big stimulus right now, and that is the stimulus news right now. Stimulus checks for December, stimulus checks for January. Once you set yourself up for 18 months of stimulus checks, then guess what? For a 24-month recession that starts January 1, you will be pretty nicely covered because suddenly you're getting $5,000 on average of stimulus checks excuse me, $3,000 on average of stimulus checks every month, you're saving that up. And you're saving up all that stimulus every month so that by 18 months, you will have saved about $3,000 a month for 18 months. You're going to be a very good situation. So welcome to the brand new viewers of this channel. Welcome to the brand new members, nearly 150 brand new members every 40 hours. Yes, membership is surging. In the big second half, we're going to go over the latest breaking details. The markets are closed for December 26, but I'm going to go over where to gauge this economy as we start a brand new year. We've done this before. I'm going to do this in the big second half. But first, become a member. And I'll see you back in 60 seconds with all this and more. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, it's a big day and we're just getting started. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as more of this incredible breaking news for a December 2022 continues on a gorgeous, gorgeous day along the coast here in Southern California. See you back in 60 seconds on Afternoons. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And good afternoon, everybody. It's a gorgeous day here along the coast. My thoughts and prayers, of course, are with the people in the Midwest, the Southeast, and the New England states. As record coals are killing Americans left and right, this day of December 26, 2022, is when this originally aired tape you see in the right corner at 8.32 a.m. But in this recording, we're going to look at where the markets are, the economy is, and your money is for you to gauge where to go. It's a little bit slightly different recording because the markets are closed because of the holiday. It's December 26th when the show first aired. I'm going to go over how to gauge the where the economy is heading based upon the data left and right. And we're going to start first with labor. What does labor tell us about this economy and where would the labor numbers likely be at a red flag warning? So I'm going to go over a series of data points. We're going to start first with labor, unemployment, jobs, and to go over where you and I should have high alert, big warning signals where numbers would come in too hot, too high. Labor. The number of continuing jobless claims in the U.S. economy a number of, of new jobless claims in the U.S. economy are released every Thursday morning on Mornings LA at about seven a about uh, nine a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The number of jobless claims in the U.S. economy has fallen dramatically, but I believe the warning signal for a bad recession would start when jobless claims, new jobless claims released on Thursday, surged to two hundred sixty. So I believe a 260,000 new jobless claim number on a Thursday would be the first warning signal of a very bad impending recession. Let's look and see where jobless claims have gone in the last year. At one point, we were as low as 140,000 jobless claims. That was in about July of 2022. We went up to 260 by late summer 2022. Then we fell dramatically back down to 180. We had gone to 230 about two weeks ago, but then fell back to a 211. That was reassuring. Very volatile, isn't it? It's very, very volatile. So where is the warning signal for you and I for labor? First, new jobless claims. These are new people going on unemployment for the first time, released every Thursday. If that number jumps to a 260,000 new jobless claims number on Thursday, that would be a big warning signal that this economy is in trouble. Again, it's currently at about 215, 218,000. So it's pretty far away at the moment. Continuing jobless claims. I believe that this number goes to 2.75 million. That would be a big warning signal there as well. Where is that number right now? About a 2.6, so it's not that far away. 2.7 is not a good number. 2.75 is not a number, good number, nor is 2.65. The fact is that it's really not growing at the moment. It grew in recent weeks, and then it flattened out. My concern is it goes to 2.75. That would be my warning signal. That number is released every Thursday morning on Mornings LA live on air. The unemployment rate would be the biggest warning signal that all economists and all analysts would scream from the top of all mountains about. The unemployment rate, if it goes to 3%, they're going to be screaming because that would be a very, very clear warning signal. Unemployment rate is released once a month, so it doesn't come out that often. It's once a month in the non-farm payroll number at the end of the month. So we're approaching that number being released later in December. Again, I don't think it's going to be 3% in December, but I want to see if it gets close to it in January or February. This, again, is a major warning signal, and this is one of the warning signals everyone would scream about if they saw that unemployment rate getting to 3%. What would they also say? They would also say the Federal Reserve is going to stop with the interest rate spikes. Not going to happen. It's important to understand how this works. The Federal Reserve has a dual mandate, meaning a dual purpose, a dual instruction. One, maximum employment. 
to price stability, another way to say stop inflation. And they're trying to bounce one at the other. They said they're going to make more people unemployed to get inflation down. And yet Wall Street doesn't buy it. Stock market doesn't buy it. Bond market is starting to not believe in it either. Do I believe it? I do believe it. There's a lot of people in the Federal Reserve governors, and they all say the same thing. We're going to raise the unemployment number. More people will be unemployed to get in inflation under control. So how high will it get? Well, if it gets to a 3%, that's when you hear that big warning signal. And will Wall Street say the Federal Reserve is going to stop with those interest rate spikes? Of course Wall Street's going to say it. And they're going to be wrong again because Federal Reserve has said, no, we're not stopping with, with it. So this is a really important data point. Again, this is warning signals for where this economy would really get weaker and when it would likely be in a deep recession. I'm going over the warning signals from the different parts of this economy so you and I can say, oh, yeah, that was a number you and I had talked about in December 2022. Now we're at that number. I'm really concerned about how bad this economy's gotten. So the unemployment is not there yet. This is what the warning signal would be. Let's go over to housing. We all know housing is a recession right now. We all know housing has been in a recession since April. But if the mortgage rate gets to 7%, boy, folks, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm because the housing industry will really, really collapse. The housing rate, the housing industry saw the mortgage rate this year surge from a 3% to a 6%. I had predicted it. It went from 3 to 4. I said it was going to go to 5 and then 6. And it did in a very short period of time. It was less than 60 days. It went from 3 to 6%. It hasn't gotten to 7%. If it does, get ready for big trouble. And the mortgage rate is a little bit interesting. I don't always explain this one. The mortgage rate is not something the bond traders trade. It's not a number created by traders or the Federal Reserve. It's just by a bunch of people who determine how much to give you a mortgage at. So they have flexibility. They can do what they want to do despite whatever the Federal Reserve is doing in the economy. But if they bring that mortgage rate to 7%, ouch. Next. In the housing industry, we want to see those inventory levels, inventory levels reach 90 days. What does that mean? You want to see how long the houses are on the market and not selling. That's what we call inventory levels. If you put a home up for sale, I don't care if it's a new home. I don't care if it's an existing home. It doesn't sell. How long is it sitting unsold? This is what caused the last recession. If inventory levels hit 90 days, this is a big worry for me and a big worry for you. It's a slightly different market, and some of the people in the housing industry have said you'll never see the inventory levels go high this time around, but you'll still be in a recession. Maybe. Again, we don't need all these data points to indicate a recession. We just need a few of them, and we may just have a few of them, and the other ones may never materialize. Let's make that very clear. Finally, build a confidence. Builders know better than anything else. They're building homes. They know what the problems are. They know them better than you and I. So if we see this build of confidence levels drop even lower, because remember, there are already his historic level lows, that could signal big troubles across the board. Now, housing and labor, a little bit esoteric, a little bit sophisticated, but this everyone understands. People going in default. People losing things, cars being repossessed, credit cards going into default. These are the storylines that would likely heat up in 2023, and these are storylines that everyone understands. Number one, you want to see if debt, debt levels, credit card debt levels, are even higher than they are right now. If those credit card debt levels reach levels we've not seen for 20 years, you got to really be concerned because no one is making a lot more money to pay off those credit card levels. Let's make it even clearer. People have added more credit card debt to their lifestyles and are yet not making more money. So if you're adding more debt and you're not making more money, then where's the money going to come from to pay for the credit card levels? The next question is the savings. The savings will be gone or are gone. This is a topic of discussion just a few weeks ago when Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, a brilliant guy, said the credit card the credit card levels are growing, say the spending is out of control, but the savings accounts will be gone by spring of 2023. One of the economists at KPMG said, no, they're already gone. 
What do I believe? I believe both of them. I believe the savings accounts for middle-class households will be gone in spring of 2023. The savings accounts, however, for low-income households, I believe are already gone. So I believe that's a situation when you bring it from low-income, gone, middle-class heading to be gone, and upper-middle-class maybe even later in 2023. Remember, it's a two-year recession. It's a two-year recession. So we're only just talking about three or four months into the recession. Things gone. Yeah, this is not looking good. So this graphic, even more than the housing industry, which is a little bit more sophisticated to understand, more than the labor market, which is a little bit more sophisticated to understand, is one of the stories that's really going to scare the socks off of people. Now, let me go back to that labor graphic, because this is something what I want to hit on right now. There was a brand new report released last week that said Americans who have jobs that work in a, in a business, not remotely, and it's full-time, believe that if they're laid off, there's going to be a job to replace them. The anchors that were reporting the news were laughing. When I reported the news, I was almost laughing because it's ridiculous. It's untrue. It's fake. It's, it's selling yourself snake oil. It's telling yourself um, uh, nonsense. They're going to get laid off, and there's not going to be a replacement job for them. Job creation numbers, again, are released that monthly number in that unemployment rate. Remember, the non-farm payroll number, which is the number of jobs created in the, number in the economy each month, is a critical number. Because if we're not generating more jobs, then people who are laid off are not going to find a job if they're laid off because there won't be any more additional brand new jobs. Of course, savings gone would be the big warning signal of where this economy is going into default. Let's go to the next graphic. The next indication of this economy getting weaker in 2023 would be the bond market going higher, stock market lower, and of course, crypto even lower. Now, what we've learned over the last week is that these markets are not directionally consistent. We understand, you understand, I understand that stocks go up, bonds go down. Stocks go down, bonds go up. But lately, bonds have been going up. And excuse me, and bonds have been going down, and stocks have been going down. In a recession, the bond market would go higher. In a bond, in a recession, the bond market would go higher. Bonds would trade higher, go up, up, up. Stocks would go lower. How much lower? They're only down twenty percent in some cases. They need to go down fifty percent. Now, let me make this very clear to you. We have companies like Tesla that are down seventy percent this year. Kathy Wood's ETF arc down 70% already this year. Amazon at the lowest levels in just two, three years. I mean, some stocks are really down badly in 2022, 70% down. And I'm telling you, we're going lower for the next two years. Yes, this is what happens. This is what happens in recession. People think that it's a dip. It's not a dip. And let me go back on air for that dip and that nonsense. One of those expressions of 2021 that drove me crazy, not 2022, 2021, was by the dip. Everything's a dip. And I used to use this finger motion, but I'm going to bring it back on this channel. Going down, oh, it went up, uh, going down, oh, it, by the dip. If this is where you're doing, you're going straight down, straight down, straight down. There's no dip in that. That's straight down. So here's an example. Something's $10, it goes to $9. Oh, by the dip, it went to 9 then it goes to eight. By the dip, it went to eight. It went to seven. By the dip, it went to seven. And you keep on saying this, not me, but someone else. You keep on saying this, and suddenly it's a $2 by the dip. What? By the dip at 40 cents? Yeah. So this is that nonsense that came out during the pandemic, where people just really don't know anything, or they're trying to get you to sort of pile onto their nonsense. And that buying the dip is where people are going to get really burned. Let's go over to um, blue chips. So where I want to see the, the falling apart to give me an, I don't want falling apart, where I want to watch falling apart to understand a bad recession is blue chip. I want to see tractor trailer companies like a John Deere. I want to see something like a Boeing, uh, you know, Jets. Uh, order for commercial uh, companies, like airline companies. I want to see um, consumer staples, like Campbell's Soups. Uh, I want to see consumer um, um, uh, discretionary spending, like a Nike. I want to see a lot of different industries really get weak very quickly. And we haven't had that yet. We have not had that. We've had discretionary spending like Nike through the roof. We've had... Uh, We've had certain companies that are consumer staples, like a Smucker's Jam, 
like a Campbell's soup, report massive numbers, and crypto will go lower. Let's make this very clear. Crypto is going to the tanks. Crypto is falling apart. My prediction for Bitcoin is that it's going to go far below a uh, 17,000 in 2023, Ethereum far below an 800 in 2023. They're not going to 70,000 in 2023. It's not going to happen. And then what are we looking at next? We're going to look at whether the manufacturing indexes are going to get weaker. Manufacturing is critical, folks. There's a series of reports that were released throughout every month that give us an indication of whether more manufacturing is happening. This is whether factories are pumping out more products for us to buy. If they're not getting demand, for products, then they're not going to manufacture more products. And those manufacturing indexes are great indicators to help us, you and I, to understand the weakening in this economy. There's a series of different manufacturing indexes. I feature about three per month on this channel. Watch for them as well. Finally, the most important indicator of where this economy is, is fourth quarter corporate earnings. Fourth quarter corporate earnings and forward guidance in those earnings reports start around January 1, but likely heat up around February. I got to tell you, and this is where the analysts, the markets, Wall Street, the bond traders, the stock traders, and I all agree. The biggest indicator of 2023 will come around February. When we look at the corporations and their corporate earnings reports, for Black Friday in November, for Christmas sales in December, and their guidance for 2023. When they come around in January and February 2023 and give us guidance on what happened in the end of 2022 and give us guidance on what's happening for 2023, then we may best understand what this economy is going to be. Let me make this even more blunt. There are two different camps. There are two different camps after it took an entire year of analysts who had not listened to me where I said, we're going to recession. Now they all say we're going to recession. I said it was going to be a deep and dark recession for two years. I said it was going to start in January 2023. I said that over a year ago. They're now saying, oh, now it's going to be a recession. Well, thank you for coming along and finally realizing that a year later. But now they're still trying to tell you it's going to be a two-month recession, not two years. And they're saying, we're going to see whether those corporate earnings January and February 2023 will give us indication whether it's a two-year recession or a two-month recession. Two-year is a deep recession, and two-month recession is a light recession or a soft recession. So you and I definitely need to watch those corporate numbers January and February on this channel. You also have finally said that February is where the financial cliff happens, where people spend all that money. Holiday season, all those big ticket items. You specifically said all these last three months, it's the holiday traveling. The ticket items are thousands of dollars, not $200, not $50 Christmas gifts. These are the $2,000 trips that people took. And then they don't have the cash for the $2,000. And they work at a business that did not have the demand for the consumers, did not sell the items. And then come January, they're laid off. Yeah, this doesn't look good, does it? So these are the warning signals. Ultimately, being informed and staying informed is how you stay ahead of the ball game. That's how we do it on this channel. Knowing where things are six months ahead of time, a year ahead of time, is what makes you better. Over the last year, I want to applaud you for becoming so much more informed, so much more prepared, so much more learning to earning. Because why? A two-year recession is not a six-month lockdown because of COVID. And I got to tell you, in the next 90 days, I believe, between now and March, you're going to see two different parts of society. The part of society that takes the time to learn and the part of the society that takes no time to learn, that doesn't want to learn anything. And the people who want to learn are always going to be ahead of the ball game. You and I may not get it right. But we'll certainly see the warning signals before we realize we got it wrong. And those warning signals will start to pop up. One warning signal here, another warning signal there, and then we'll adjust accordingly. We don't know if we got it right. We don't know if it's going to be a two-year recession that's deep and dark, as I predicted, or whether we got it totally wrong, whether the economy turns around and goes straight to the moon. We don't know, but we know the benchmarks to look at. We know the elements to give safeguard notion to. 
Again, the elements we're going to look at on this channel over the next year are, and certainly over the next, I should not even say the next year, I should say between now and February, are labor. Watch the labor numbers. If we go to 260,000 jobless claims newly every Thursday, big warning signal. Unemployment rate going to 3% monthly, yeah, big warning signal. That's a monthly number. And then 2.75 continuing jobless claims, that's weekly, big warning signal. Then let's go over to housing. Bitter confidence continues to fall, but inventory levels of 90 days, I think that would be a big warning signal. It may never happen, but the housing market may be still implode with that never happening. Remember, you don't need all these factors to happen. You just need certain ones or enough of them. Mortgage rates are 7% as well. Debt levels, so those debt levels get to even higher amounts, and the default rates kick in horribly in February with savings gone, according to Jamie Dimon. Big trouble. Bond market higher, stocks going lower, crypto going lower. And finally, over to manufacturing. If less manufacturing happenings and fourth quarter earnings get weaker and forward guidance for the rest of this year is weak as well, well, there you go. That's how we win as part of this incredible Purple Power family. Stimulus news, stimulus checks, big stimulus checks, lots of it. Get as many stimulus checks right now for December and then get yourself set up to get stimulus checks 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the brand new newsletter, <laughs> news.la.com forward slash newsletter. All day, every day, apply for stimulus checks as fast as you can in that brand new membership newsletter. Become a member and get all those incredible stimulus checks. Stimulus checks for SSI, stimulus checks for SSDI, stimulus checks for SSA, stimulus checks for low income, stimulus checks right now. And I will see you next on this channel throughout the day. Brand new broadcast today as the markets are closed for this holiday day. But I'll be with you with brand new shows across the board. For the shores of San Marco, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.